Normally, when we are asked to take 2x plus 3y equals 12 and rearrange it into slope-intercept form, you won't normally use this process. But I think it might work very well for some people. So first thing I'm going to find is the y-intercept. y-intercept, I let x be 0. Plug that in the original equation, I get y equals 4. That's not only the y-intercept, but it's also an ordered pair. So I could go over to the graph and actually plot the ordered pair 0, 4, or the y-intercept of 4. Okay, x-intercept. To get the x-intercept, we let y be 0. Back in the original equation, so we're back in the original equation, we let y equals 0. We get 2x equals 12, that's x equals 6. If x equals 6, that's also an ordered pair, 6 comma 0. So now we have two ordered pairs. We have the ordered pair 0, 4, and 6, 0. We can use the y, uh, 2 minus y1, x2 minus x1 to get the slope, and that will reduce down to negative 2 thirds. We can also go over here to the graph because we plotted the y-intercept, we plotted the x-intercept, we can see this is a negative slope, so we can do the rise over run method. Either way we do it, we get a slope of negative two-thirds. We're finished because you wanted the a slope before the x, negative two-thirds, and you already calculated the y-intercept to be four. In this little cloud right here, I have the normal method used in textbooks where they try to isolate the y. If you want to look at those steps, that's fine, but we get the same answer. And if you want the steps that I just talked through, they're over on the right side of the screen.